Hello friends and welcome back to Carburetor, the show for all type of car related topics. Today we continue the new column, Carburetor News, with its second edition. It will be interesting, so let's start. Last month on the 25th Aftova celebrated 5 years since the start of the sales of the popular for the brand model Vesta. The model was born from the VAS partnership with Renault Nissan. Vesta first shows up in public in 2014 in Moscow, many innovations and technological solutions such as ESP, heated seats, an era navigation system, stepless gearbox and even CNG version, something rare for Russian automakers. Vesta is already among the top best-selling cars on the Russian market and in just half a year has reached the top positions in sales of new cars. More than 450,000 cars have been sold and apparently their trend will continue to move in an upward direction. Volvo reports that their American branch has reached extremely good results with sales for the last month reaching new records for the period from 2004 to now. In the same month, the number of sales approached 10,500, which is an increase of over 10%, compared to the last year's result. The management team of the brand does not spare superlatives and shares that the numbers are proof of the quality of their products, as well as the well-established sales network of the brand. Customers' faith in the brand and their trust in us are fact, says the Volvo headquarter. Their XC40 model also enjoys increased interest, although compared to the previous year, the figures shows a lack about 5%. Having in mind the bearish market in recent months and the reduced sales of many companies by 40% or even more, we must admit that Volvo has managed to position itself very, very well in the unstoppable world economy disaster. The new war for the market share among electric vehicles is ongoing with Tesla and everyone else being the main players. By everyone else I mean mostly China, because they are the main competitor. Another fact is that the next premium electric car comes from there. It's called Nita Eureka 03. Its announced mileage of 800 km is actually a bit higher because in China the standard of measurement is different and the car is actually expected to travel between 500 and 600 km on a single charge, at a price lower than Tesla. Acceleration from 0 to 100 is only 4 seconds, with an impressive design and many ambitions, this car will be in production in 2022. Ford Kuga became the leader in the ranking of the newly introduced test of Euro and Cup for safety systems. The car offers better overall assisted driving compared to Tesla, Volvo and Volkswagen models in this segment. Ford Copilot 360 technology, including adaptive cruise control with start-stop system, lane centering and road sign recognition. Kuga also offers state-of-the-art technology designed to help and to prevent and reduce the consequences of accidents. Last year, the all-new model won a maximum of 5-star Eurank Cup safety rating. In honor of its 210th anniversary, the French manufacturer Peugeot has launched an interesting venture – restoration and sale of vintage cars. The vehicles will be restored in the brand's workshops and will receive a special certificate of authenticity before being put on sale. The first car selected for the restoration process is historic for the brand, a black Peugeot 205 GTI with 1.9 liter engine. This new venture is possible thanks to the supply of spare parts. A venture Peugeot has been working in this field for 7 years and had to transform its logistics warehouse to gather everything it needed. The association will rely on its traditional subcontractors to supply missing parts and the additional 3D printing is always an option if the part can no longer be produced. The British agency Bristol Street Motors presented the results of an interesting new study. It is about the length of the instructions that come with each brand new car. According to the data collected and processed carefully by the company, the average length of the book is over 90,000 words which takes more than six and a half hours to fully read. The record holder in length is the booklet of Audi A3, 
with its almost 168,000 words in the manual, which is estimated to take you 12 or more hours to fully read. At the other end of the spectrum is Opel Zafira, which offers only 47,000 words in the booklet. You should be able to read it in about two and a half hours from start to finish. As a rough comparison to the size of the manuals, the agency points out that one of the editions of the Harry Potter book is minimally larger than the Audi A3 book. Lord of the Rings to the Two Towers is shorter than the highly discussed manual. E-commerce is becoming an increasingly popular form of product delivery among consumers not only around the world, but also in my country. The benefits are obvious. Customers do not need to travel for the desired goods or to look for a parking space to waste time and most importantly, do not need to interrupt their usual activities to spend time shopping. According to the figures from the German Association for Electronic Commerce and Distance Sales or BEVH, Consumers spent more than 20 billion euro on online shopping between April and June 2020 in Germany alone. This is almost 3 billion euro more than the same period for the last year. However, this boom also has its drawbacks. Transport service providers travel about 60 billion kilometers for deliveries to Europe and the United States each year and nearly 70 billion kilometers for the return of goods. The last figure is equal to 73 trips between Earth and Mars. The data also shows that on average one in four big trucks is used to return goods emitting about 1.5 billion kilograms of carbon dioxide. It is therefore clear why the EU forces truck manufacturers to get involved in the efforts to reduce emissions of this harmful gas. By 2025, all manufacturers will have to reduce emissions by 15% compared to the average in 2019. These figures will have to be reduced by 30% until the end of 2030. Well, friends, that was all for second edition of Carburetor News. If you want to contact our team or to learn more about us and who we are, do not hesitate to visit our website www.removimo.com and if you want to support the team to continue to make even nicer automotive content, you can donate a dollar or two on patreon.com forward slash carburetor. From me, Nico, bye and I'll see you soon.